Yo, what's going guys? It is Sharpie or the Habs here, and today guys, I'm going to be talking about what the hell Montreal Canadiens are going to be doing with Carey Price and Philip Deneau. Let's talk about it right now, guys, and if you guys are new here, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I'm literally almost 100 subscribers away from 1,000, and if I hit 1,000, that's literally my childhood dream. So make sure you guys subscribe, and yeah, let's talk about what's happening. So yeah, guys, Carey Price was supposed to be protected because of his no-trade clause, but unfortunately, or fortunately, um, Carey Price waived that no trade clause, so we protected Carey. Wait, we protected Jake Allen instead of Carey Price. And honestly, this could turn out to be a win-win situation for both teams if he does get picked up. I highly doubt Carey Price does get traded or picked up because he has a horrible contract of 10.5 million dollars until the age of 40, and he will 100% not play as good the older he gets unless if some miracle happens. Carey Price has had a 909 save percentage for the past three years in total added up. He's not that good of a season goalie anymore but he's a really good playoff goalie as you guys can see last playoffs. He carried us to Stanley Cup Finals like his name but honestly I feel like it would be a good thing if Seattle does take Carey Price because look at how much money the Montreal Canadiens will still have. It will be absolutely insane how much money we have. And I feel like it would be a win-win because Seattle will have so much ticket sales because of Carey Price. They'll have so much merchandise sales for Carey Price if he does get picked up. So that will be a good thing for Seattle. But at the age of 40, it will screw them over because of his large contract. And also, Montreal Canadiens have Carey Price on... No, my bad. They have Shea Weber on LTIR. We have an extra 7 mil this year. Let's sign someone big. Let's... No trade clause. My bad. Not that word. Let's... What is the word? My bad. The word is literally offer sheet. I am so dumb. Let's offer sheet someone. Let's offer sheet Pedersen. I heard uh, rumors of that going to happen if Carey Price gets taken. Let's offer sheet Sorokin or something. Let's use the offer sheet system. Please. Just like what happened to Sebastian Ajo. And also, if you guys don't know how offer sheet works, I'm going to leave a video link down below of Onike with space. I'll explain it. That's how I the inspiration of thinking it might be a good idea if we do offer sheet someone if Carey Price goes to Seattle. But yeah, I feel like it would be a win-win and get that contract out of here. I know he's a fan favorite. I would cry to see him go. But honestly, I feel like it would be a win-win for us and for Seattle if he does get taken. I would miss you, Price, if you play another game in our uniform. But you're an absolute hero to me. But I feel like it would be for the better if you do go to Seattle. I'm sorry, Carey Price. And also, you will be near your hometown, Anaheim Lake. And yeah. I don't know. That's how I really think about the Carey Price situation. But I highly doubt they'll pick him because of his horrible contract. All right, now let's talk about the pizza-eating uh, Philip Deneau. This man wants six years, 5.5 or $6 million. That is absolutely outrageous by a guy named Philip Deneau. I feel like um, he doesn't really deserve that much money. Him, him in the regular season would not as good as him in the playoffs. Like, he's quite good defensively, but he had how many goals last year? Three? Six goals? And he wants $6 million? Winning face-offs and playing good defense like that does not deserve you $6 million fucking dollars. Like, come on, bro. And also, you're from Montreal and you sold your fucking house? Take a pay cut, my dude. If you really want to play Montreal so badly, take a bit of a pay cut. Help your team out. Help lift the Stanley Cup. Come on, bro. Come on. That's not how you play as a team player. But if you want the money, go right ahead. Go in the free market. Go in the market, bro. Go in the market. Sign big, and it probably will not work out. I'm sorry. He does not work six mil. Let's talk a bit more about Carey Price. I see a bunch of Habs fans just crying or fake crying or just being really sad about Carey Price um, canceling his no-move trade clause to be in the saddle draft. Could be picked. Highly doubt it. But they just have to think about this business-wise. Look at how much money he have and how much the term is. It is horrible. It will screw us over because it is a dead salary cap era. People got to know that. I know it's a fan favor and all, but that is why people are like that. If it's someone else without the name Carey Price or just a recent goalie that came in that played that great in the playoffs, had that contract, had that term, we would want him gone too. But it's just because it's our hero Carey Price, that's why people want him gone. 
but I feel like it would just be a win for Seattle. I feel like it would be a win for the Montreal Canadiens. We have a young guy named Kane Premu, and we have a guy named Jake Allen. They would be fantastic splitting games, or Jake Allen playing a little bit more of games because he was fantastic in the regular season, but we didn't play him any games because of Carey Price being amazing in the playoffs. But yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say, and let's cut out to the intro right now. Let's go there. I have it set up. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm such a loser, man. All right, guys, I know this is a very short video, but I'm at it right here. I talked about the two things I wanted to talk about, but yeah, boys. If you guys are new here, please, please, please leave a like and subscribe. Pulls to 1,000 subscribers. I'm trying to race Nordic 97 to 100 subscribers. Not, not 100, my bad, 1,000. Check out Nyquist's video. It'll pop up on screen right now. 